What's going on everyone? Today I just wanted to talk about this issue I was having with the Elsa mixer. Basically I was installing some programs. Next thing I know my audio wasn't working. I tried everything to get it going. Everything looked perfect all across the board. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me so I did a couple things to try to rectify it the issue. Now everything looked like it should have when I had it uh, all up and running and it still looks like it it does now. But basically what I had to do was a couple of things. In the description below I do have a link so you can get all copy and paste all the commands I use. I had to uninstall pulse audio so let me just bring up a terminal window here all right and so i had to use just sudo apt get remove pulse oh pulse uh, pulse audio now i removed it uh and then i had done a couple of other commands to get that off there and i did the sudo apt auto remove and then all I did was the a play user share sounds also noise dot wave and I got in the sound back but it didn't come back the first time I tested. I ended up having to run another command after that, which was the sudo etc init.d forward slash uh, elsa utils reset to reset everything back to default. And then after I did that, all I had to do was reboot the Raspberry Pi and then go up here to my volume control and reselect the audio source that I wanted to use. And then I reran the uh, noise wave and everything started working again. Then I installed a few more programs and it happened again. But this time I couldn't get it back no matter what I did. I already removed Pulse Audio. So I was like, hmm, what can I do? So what I did was I reinstalled Pulse Audio, rebooted the computer, and then followed the same steps that I just showed you here. And after that, the audio came back again. So I don't know if there's a glitch in there or what's going on, but that's how I solved the issue. Like I said, in the description below, we'll have a link to what I did in more detail. If you're having an issue with no sound, don't worry about having to wipe your Raspberry Pi and then reinstall everything. That's what I didn't want to have happen. I installed a bunch of different programs for testing and I'd gotten to the point where I was like, ah, I don't want to wipe my Pi just because my audio is not working. But this is the only way I managed to get it to work every time afterwards there might be another way or might be something else i'm doing wrong tried everything even through the raspberry pi config and even uh, checking uh, the audio sources everything looked like it should and should be producing sound but it wasn't so there was some sort of hiccup there i don't know where but hopefully that gets updated and in a future version of uh, debian i guess but uh, for now i guess we have to deal with it but that's my little method there with that being said if you found this video useful at all hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button i'll release videos as i make them because i'm on the raspberry pi and just in case something ever does go wrong i've actually gotten those videos uploaded as soon as they were edited once again thank you for watching everyone you have a wonderful day a wonderful week and we'll see you next time take care eh?